YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. What's going on? It's A. Graver here with another video. Um, and in this video, the Steelers, uh, it was said that they could possibly be interested in Mitch Trubisky. Um, and it was said that he would have a market. It said the Giants were interested in him and whatnot. But now Steelers, they made it official and they have signed Mitch Trubisky. Um, so maybe his time in Buffalo will have. I guess sort of humbled him like, hey, whoa, let me sort of take a step back for a second, reevaluate myself, change up some things, maybe improve, learn some things from Josh Allen too. You know, Josh Allen is like that, man. And okay, and let me try to reinvent who Mitch Trubisky is as a quarterback in the NFL. And now he'll have a chance to do that with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, he goes to a good team, goes to a good organization. They know how to get things done over there in Pittsburgh. But really the biggest thing, in my opinion, that was holding them back had been quarterback play. Ben Roethlisberger was not a, ever a bad quarterback, but over the past couple of years, especially last year, like you saw it over the past two years for sure, I think that the struggle was with the the, the arm strength because – for the short passes, oh, they, they would get there. The intermediate passes, oh, they would struggle, but they would get there. But the deep passes, it was like they would hang in the air for so long because he couldn't put that zip on it like he used to. Uh, but now Steelers, they they got some QB competition with Mitch Trubisky, um, with uh, not Hodges, but uh, Mason Rudolph. And uh, can I think of the one that used to play for the Washington football? Dwayne Haskins, there we go. Uh, and I was thinking, I remember when um, Steelers initially hired Brian Flores as a defensive assistant. I was thinking, oh, hold up now. I know he's going to be working with the defense, but you know, this, this, is a, this position for him is just a stepping stone to get him back to being a head coach in the NFL one day. But I was wondering, like, man, could they also go for Deshaun Watson as well? But I think with them signing Mitch Trubisky, that rules that out. That rules it out. Um, and this, like, it, this is a surprise signing to me. I will, I'm very excited um, and very, like, seriously interested to see how Steelers fans feel about this signing. Uh, me, if I was one, I, honestly, I would not be excited about it. Um, you never know what could happen. You, you never know. But I would be like, ooh, I, I would be a little bit worried. Um, and I would really be, like, scratching my head as to why. Um, but hey, we'll see. I, I could be completely wrong. And this thing could turn around. We could come back to this video in a year and people could be like, ah, see, you, you thought Mr. Trubisky wasn't even going to be a good fit for Pittsburgh and it worked. We'll never know. Uh, well, we, we, we will know, uh, in about a year from now. Um, but interesting move. I, this is not one that I saw coming at all, at all. Uh, but <laughs> it is what it is. Tank, keep it clean. I love y'all. Subscribe because, again, free agency is crazy as y'all know it is. Turn your notifications on because, as you have seen already, it's going to be a lot of videos about a lot of different teams. And this thing is wild. But I love y'all. Y'all stay up. Keep your heads up. I hope you're having a great day. We out.